Robocop started with a very crazy idea, basically, to build a team of humanoid robots that can win against the FIFA World Champion. But I think the idea is really great because it instills a lot of long-term interesting development in robotics and AI. So over the years, RoboCup gained more and more interest. We added leagues. Initially, we had only robots moving around on wheels and simulated soccer. Now we have humanoids in different leagues. We have application-oriented leagues with rescue, with at home and at work. And we added junior for interesting young people in STEM subjects. So I think it's a really great movement. So RoboCup started in 1997. Uh, we have the first competition in Nagoya. And after then, so we had annual event each year around the world. And we started the competition of football using the robot. Uh, but uh, after then, we increased the domain. In RoboCup 2016, we have close to 3,000 participants and altogether 1,200 robots. It's exciting because uh, we have robots playing soccer. And that in itself is exciting. And then when it happens out on the field, you get to see your research actually manifest itself in something fun. Well, what I would like to tell young people is that whatever thing they want to do, that is something they like and is different to go to the school, go to the high school, go to the university, which is also important. But when they have the opportunity to apply what they are learning, I think that is really important because it's when you understand what, it's when the things make sense, when you actually see what, how the things work. You don't only see them in a book, you see how the robot work, you see how the electronics work, you, you learn how to develop an electronics thing. You not only read about it, just learn by doing. <laughs> So the, the wars between humans and robots are currently falling down because the robots are getting more compliant and more safe um, to humans. And this is a very exciting time because you can do so, so many things also from an engineering part and having fascinating applications of human very tightly interacting with robots, collaborating with robots, building things together with robots. So I think this is really starting off now. Well, in RoboCup at work, we are using a scaled-down version of a real factory environment. You have conveyor belts, you have places where you have to pick objects, you have places where you have to place them. You can assemble things and you can also mount things. And this is a scaled-down version of a real factory environment, real factory problems. And this is why we are appreciating the work that is being done at RoboCup at work so much. What is interesting about robotics is you can think about how when you try to imitate human behaviors and everything, you're actually doing something about it as well you discover and you learn um, more in depth about what we do. For example, you don't really think much about how you, how you take something, like when you want to grab something. But when you are doing this, you realize that you have to think, how would I do it? And how would I make the robot do it? RoboCup really brings the research community forward because competitions really bring out the motivation in people. People stay, stay up forever. And, and work on these things. And this really is very also fruitful for cooperation because everybody is in the same place. It's, it's really exciting. And I've, yeah, I've been doing it for long and I'll be doing it for some time. Yeah, we're on the cutting edge and it's a really, really hard problem to you know, even get a robot to see a soccer ball, let alone do things around the house, pick up rubbish, etc. And being able to work on those really hard problems and then see them applied in a real world, in a situation that's going to be useful to someone, that feeling is just fantastic. You get to see, like, this is the future. We're helping build the future.